The Association for Research and Enlightenment ARE, also known as Edgar Cayce's ARE, was founded by Edgar Cayce 1877 in 1931 to research and explore subjects such as holistic health, ancient mysteries, personal spirituality, dreams and dream interpretation, intuition, philosophy and reincarnation. ARE's stated mission is to help people change their lives for the better through the ideas and information found in the Edgar Case readings. Its international headquarters is in Virginia Beach, Virginia, with a regional office in Houston, Texas. There are also Edgar Case centers in 37 countries and individual members in more than 70 countries. ARE runs conferences, retreats and other educational activities, and publishes books relating to Edgar Case and his teachings under the imprints of ARE. Press and Fourth Dimension Press. The ARE also publishes a quarterly member magazine, Venture Inward. It maintains an affiliation with Atlantic University, and runs a health center and day spa at its Virginia Beach headquarters along with the Case, Riley School of Massage. History ARE is the heir to a previous case-related organization, the Association of National Investigators dependent on the financial support of a few major donors, the ANI emphasized major institution building projects such as the original Atlantic University and the Case Hospital for Research and Enlightenment, a hospital staffed with medical personnel who used case recommended treatments. The name of the hospital would later inspire the name, Association for Research and Enlightenment. The ANI and its various projects folded with the onset of the Great Depression. In 1931, Case called a meeting of his supporters in Virginia Beach, asking them directly whether they felt that his work should continue. The result was the creation of the Association for Research and Enlightenment as a successor organization to the ANI. This was also the beginning of a tradition of annual meetings at ARE's Virginia Beach headquarters featuring talks on various spiritual subjects. Prior to Case's death in 1945, people seeking a reading from Case were asked to join the ARE. This helped insulate Case from charges of fortune telling, which was illegal in some U.S. states, as he was not directly charging a fee for his services but receiving a salary from the member supported ARE apart from supporting Case and his staff. A major emphasis of the early ARE was the encouragement of small groups devoted to spiritual study, prayer, and meditation. When Case died, he left many requests for readings unanswered. His son, Hugh Lynn Case, returned from the army later that year and took charge of the ARE. Under Hugh Lynn Case's leadership, the ARE arrived at the basic focus of activities and interests which it follows today. A major boost came with the rise of the 1960s counterculture and then the New Age movement, which coincided with a number of popular books on case including Jess Stern's bestseller, The Sleeping Prophet. After Hugh Lynn's death in 1982 the ARE was led by his son, Charles Thomas Case. Charles Thomas retired in 2006. 
The ARE's current CEO and Executive Director is Kevin J. Todeski, previously the editor of the ARE membership magazine, Venture Inward, and a longtime ARE staffer. During the last few decades, the ARE has focused its efforts on globalizing its activities and promoting Case's spiritual message in the mass media. Topic activities Major activities of the ARE include, non-profit association membership with benefits such as a quarterly magazine Venture Inward and newsletter Case Quarterly lectures and tours at ARE headquarters in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and around the U.S., library facilities, bookstore, meditation garden ARE Health Center and Spa focuses on holistic treatments at Virginia Beach Campus Housing and distributing the Edgar Case readings 14,306 documented readings on file encouraging research into various aspects of the case material publishing books, DVDs, and CDs through ARE. Press International tours to sacred sites around the world Case – Riley School of Massage – Holistic Massage based on the case readings Atlantic University – Non-profit higher education online university with Masters in Transpersonal Studies and Mindful Leadership A summer camp for children, teens, families, and adults Topic Structure The ARE is led by a board of trustees. The same board also heads a sister organization, the Edgar Case Foundation, which claims to hold the copyright to the case readings and related material. Critics point out that Case himself freely distributed the same material without copyright. Books using extensive greater than 500 words Case quotes may be expected to pay royalties. ARE membership is a subscription arrangement in which the member receives a packet of goods publications, mainly, and services e.g., access to case readings online in exchange for an annual fee. These fees can be waived altogether for people who cannot afford the full fee. Life memberships are also available. Within the United States and Canada, ARE activities are divided into 11 multi-state, multi-provincial regions and three major metropolitan areas. Their relationship with Virginia Beach is basically that of a branch office to headquarters. Overseas, there are presently 29 Edgar Case Centers in 25 countries and another 37 countries with a lesser degree of ARE representation. Study groups and the GLAD Helpers Group are organizationally independent of ARE headquarters and in fact predate that organization. They do, however, cooperate to some degree. For example, ARE headquarters refers inquirers to study groups, while study groups may donate money or encourage their participants to join the ARE. Topic study groups Case study groups usually meet weekly in members' homes. This occurs when no central place of gathering was available, such as in the ARE of NYC at 241 West 30th Street. Traditional case groups include the Dream Group, the Prayers for Healing Group, and Search for God. About half of the prayers for healing and search for God meetings are generally devoted to the study of some appropriate case text, traditionally the two volumes of a search for God. 
These consist of lessons which study group number one put together with guidance from the sleeping case who refused to allow them to continue until he felt that they were successfully living the spiritual lessons already given. Often, study group members will attempt to apply the lessons in their lives, just as the first group did. Usually, the other half of the prayers for healing meetings will be given over to meditation and recitation of names of those who wished for healing. Several prayers are often recited, including the Lord's Prayer and the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd. The mediation during the second half can also apply to the search for God group. Despite the prevalence of Christian traditions, a significant number of ARE members are Jews or other non-Christians. The Dream Group attempts to apply the case philosophy to the interpretation of dreams. The group will take turns sharing their dreams and, based on the methods outlined in his texts, attempt to interpret their own. Later, the group will share ideas and feedback about whether the symbols and patterns were accurately interpreted. These groups are no charge, but donations are appreciated. Topic Symbol The original ARE symbol consisted of a white cross and dove on a blue background. In 2007, this was changed to a dove and globe. Equals equals buildings. <laughs>